Hello and welcome back to Path of Exile Necropolis League. This is episode 5 of a very super detailed build guide for a Cyclone Slayer, which is going to eventually turn into a Cyclone of Tumult, and we'll go from there. In fact, I should be getting a Cyclone of Tumult pretty soon here and start leveling it up. And by leveling it up, we mean on our offhand. We're not going to actually use it until level 51-ish, but I can put it right here. So we need two of them or maybe just one and we could be leveling it up in the in our offhand so um i'll look for that right now i won't put it off so we're on path of exile um the trade website on pathofexile.com slash trade and we're going to type in cyclone of tumult so i could just type in the tilde key and it'll be like a fuzzy search so if you can type in tumult like that and just like that and we're gonna say we we want to limit it to be a uh, gem level max of one and any quality we'll, we'll we'll go with any quality be quality and then we'll say maybe a max of two chaos and we'll search and then if there are some quality ones oh there's only two on here oh boy um well looks like we'll be buying this one copy and we'll go from there one second And we have a total of four chaos left. We're going to be switching those and selling those for more chaos. That's how we've been getting them. We've been um, using wisdom scrolls on any kind of rare loot we find, IDing it, vendoring it, getting shards, turning those into alteration orbs, orbs of alteration, like that. And then we're once we get up to about 50, we're going to try to get, instead of getting five of these for one chaos, we're going to try to get four for one chaos so it's a better deal because we're selling in bulk instead of buying in little or chunks so you get a better deal all right so let's whisper that guy we're gonna paste it in there and you can do a direct whisper as well now that was posted 11 days ago so that was when the league started and he just hasn't paid attention to it so i don't know if he'll really be bothered with a one chaos sale sale because he could be in a a really good map where he's making 30 or 40 chaos per map or more. So, you know, maybe he won't be bothered with this. We'll see. And if not, we can get in, we can wait and maybe get another deal or we could uh, whisper the guy for the two, two chaos deal. So let's, uh, I'm going to whisper him. I'll be right back. And I whispered him and I'm going to guess that he's going to say yes. Um, we're going to go like this and we're going to find out where he is. Let's see who is chief McRoy. He's in the state of the hideout, so we know he's in his hideout, just hanging out there. Maybe he's AFK. We're going to whisper. Um, we just go like this. And if we push enter, we should be able to right click and whisper him again and say, I'm less busy now. Do trade later. being as polite as possible and we might not get the trade there's only two of them up there so we could um and you know maybe a little bit later in the evening time more people will be on and we'll get it but um we need it soon but not that soon but i just want to remember to start leveling it up because i don't want to hit 51 with a level one uh uh <laughs> cyclone of tumult so uh next up we're going to take a look at this real quick and so i'll be messaging those guys um and searching and we'll find one next up this is our um build so far we are a duelist we started right here we went right down into this and we got this for um the near the extra nearby person we get an extra hit with our molten strike that was important so we got that right away and then we came over this way and got a little bit of mana regen and then we came down here and we went right over here and got mana until we hit 30. And at 30, we bought that Thief's Torment Ring. It was really important to get, and I'll show you that in a second. And then once we got that, we used all our refund points to refund back out of that. We need one more to refund here, and we'll have another point to spend. And we got this for bleed Bleeds, and we're going to improve that as well. We got this for our Accuracy, and we got this for extra damage and a little bit of Leech as well, and extra damage versus rares and unique enemies. 
bosses, rogue exiles, stuff like that. Next up, we're going to go, we're going to be working our way right down here. And we're going to be adding to our crit. We're going to get this one, this one, and this one, and probably this 0.3 meters extra strike range to get a bigger AOE. Kind of like that. Or maybe something else. We're going to have a pretty big AOE as is. So we'll figure it out. Optional. Nice. Right now we're running Blood and Sand, War Banner, and Pride. Those three gems. We're going to be switching over probably to Purity of Elements pretty soon. Maybe around when we get 51, we'll be switching over to that. But right now we're completely fine. So um, this is what we're taking so far. And Priority of Elements takes up 50% of our mana, and so does Pride. Pride does a lot more damage, though. It's a big chunk. But we'll be fine. So let's go, go from here. The, th the Thief's Torment Ring, if you didn't look, check the last episode. But this ring is going to carry us into red maps. Or not red maps, probably into white maps. Um, what it does is, it gives us a lot of elemental resists, 41 total. It can go up to... Um, that, can, that can roll up to... Let's see, if we hold down Alt... It could be 40 and 10, so it could go 50 total risk, re resist to all of them. That's fire, cold, and lightning. Um, we can't use the other ring. That's the downside of it, but that's completely fine in this case. Um, uh, increased items found, that's very cool. And the mana takes care of our mana issue completely. And the life gain on hit is huge. If you got to get it at least 50 or more just to be it, nice and relaxing, and it's nice to have. And we get a reduced effect of curses on us. So this is an all-around great ring. Imagine a ring half as good, but we'd wear two of them. I'd wear two of those. So why not one, one with all that on it? Very nice. And we're off. Let's go see where we're at. We're in Act 3, and we're going to be doing the um, lab. It's called the Labyrinth Run. And we're going to be unlocking our first ascendancy. So we're going to ascend into becoming a slayer. Duelist, but a duelist that becomes a slayer. But we're going to go right here, and we're going to work our way through this. And you can just click these. Anything left of this is the quest that aren't done yet. So we get into this one, and this one. Cool. So we're going to turn this quest in, and we get a reward. Let's see. Cyclone? We could. <laughs> we're not going to take it. We're waiting for Cyclone of Tumult. On the off chance that we don't get it, though, I'm probably just going to take this Cyclone. Um, we don't need anything else. Charged Rush, Special Shield Throw. Nope, nope, and nope. Um, what I do want to bring along, though, is when I do the lab, I want to be able to... There, you get an ability to convert a gem into a, a, a transfigured gem, and they can be pretty valuable, so we're going to definitely have one of those on hand as well. So we're going to level this Cyclone up, Goodbye. might as well, and then let's see if Clarissa will sell us another green gem. Yes. Purchase any green gem, let's see, that's a skill gem, but not grace... Cycle. We'll do we'll do two two cyclones. We're just gonna transmute it into something else anyway. So there we go. So now we have two cyclones going, but we're going for cyclone of tumult um, sooner rather than later. We'll talk to him, and we're in good shape. Oh, find pit piety, and let's go take a look at our map. And that's what we have to do. So we have to do these two things. So we're gonna go up here, and this is. Captain Fairgrave's encounter to achieve this, you must find the plum in the Imperial Garden. So we're going to go find that. Nice. And it should be... We're going to bring up the map. Everything's fine. Um, now, I shouldn't really have to hit my... Um, what do you call it? Uh, heals at all? Barely, Very rarely now. Because we're getting 50 health back per hit on everything. Which is just crazy. And mana back as well and mana regen in fact we could almost give up on the mana regen right here as well we might be able to pull that off and back out of that we'll, we'll test it once we get some refund points we'll test backing out of that eventually in the final build we don't use this at all so we'll get these points back and we'll collect that nice and we'll level, level these up and away we go the, and it, the the um imperial garden is usually over here on the right side not always but generally so Let's go find it. Oh, geez. Is this it? Yep. Let's take a look at this. This is fine. Plus two to pa monster pack level. That's fine. And then it can drop higher level items. And there's quite a few things we got to find in here. Um, there's a... The last of the six trials you're going to have to do is over here. And it's usually in the top right. Um, there's a... 
um, waypoint right here. We're going to have to get that. And we're going to unlock a really important guy right through here. Right up here is going to be the, uh, the way to the library. You got to watch these uh, porcupine guys. They can really, if you get a big cr crowd of them and you don't have very much armor, they can explode and just destroy you. Uh, we are to the point where we're very tanky and it just doesn't matter. We're just, we just crush these guys. In fact, let's take a look at this one. That's an, I would love to be able to wear that armor, but um, it doesn't have enough things on it. So what we could do is uh, uh, use a jeweler's orb and do that. Let's take care of that guy. He's messing with us. I would love to be able to look at the difference on that armor. Way more armor. It has, let's see, a prefix, triple prefix, triple suffix. It looks like it has, yeah, it's tr so it's fold out, but it's got a lot of stuff on it. It's got, oh, it's got life. And all three of those, this is an actual valuable thing. This is a good item. Let's see. So we're going to F1 it. And then three out of four steps, item level 32. We'll search it. Uh, one chaos you could probably sell it for. I think you could definitely sell that for one chaos. But we're going to use it. <laughs> we're going to try. Oh, and here's the way forward. We'll level that one up and we'll keep going. Anything in here worthwhile? Not really. We'll just keep going. And we're going to look for the waypoint in here. And there's a little quest as well. Interesting. Those guys had a little buff on them. That guy too. Ooh, a colossal. Do we have two colossals? Oh yeah, we have some. So we'll probably upgrade those pretty soon. I think it was level 34 or 36 we get the next level up of uh, quest of uh, flasks. Well, let's find the next thing. We've got a Val side area. It's going to drop some Val gems, meaning um, they're like special versions of uh, skill gems that are they they do special they unleash a special power when you do them they're pretty neat they're um some people use them some people don't just depends on what you want to do we won't be using them though um the val cyclone it ends up sticking in one in one spot and usually you don't want to be stuck in one spot so it's not a good thing if you could can't if you a second press press could cancel it i would use it like a, I think there's even a Val Cyclone of Tumult. Um, but um, I'm not sure about that. But um, if it did, and if you could cancel it easily with another key press, maybe I would do it then. But uh, as of the current version, I would not do it. Detonate Dead's very popular. And we're filling up on loot here. A little bit concerning. And we'll move this here. That there. That there. That there. And away we go. I'm even going to sell a couple transmute for uh, for some um, for some wisdom scrolls. We're just that low on them. I think it's one gets you four. One of those. And we'll put that away. And let's see. We've got an outside chance of this working. Here we go. We're going to hope for at least three. Uh, one more. I don't know, guys. Nope. Failure. We could put it there and just keep rolling on it as we get some jeweler's orbs. But we got to have three reds. Or three or more there. But it'll be some nice armor. And here we are. And there's a Val Vessel. That's where everything is. Here's the Val Boss. And he didn't really drop anything, but the Val Vessel is the thing that has a Val Blight. Um, this one already identified. That's nice. And we got some scrolls out of it. And then we'll F1 on that. Val Blight, not worth anything. We'll just toss it away in our uh, gem, flat, gem tab. And we'll keep going. Nice, we got an Orb of Regret. That means we're going to put it on there right away. That gets a refund point. We're going to spend this one right here. And we're going to refund. We're going to press Apply. So we're at... 1429 apply that should have went up a little bit and then refund this point apply and then we're going to spend why didn't that go up increase crit strikes with so oh we're not using swords we i thought we had a sword we don't we'll hold off on that one sorry about that a little bit of mistake i thought for sure i had a sword there but it's not it's a mace it's okay we're going to hold on to this point for a second and we'll figure it out from there Okay, here's Sioza. It's called like the li this is the library is where you go and you meet Sioza right here, and he sells 
quite a few gems, gems that were not normally available to you in this point. So certain classes are, you know, like Molten Strike is not available to um, Rangers. But if once you get here, then he'll sell you all of these. So what you could also do is there are certain um, things that aren't available for certain classes until later, but it makes them valuable. So you can come here and buy um, certain things from him once we do his quest. Then you could actually buy him for cheap and sell him on the market for maybe a chaos to people that don't have access to him yet, yet but want to level up. So it's pretty neat. Nice. We're going to go get the uh, four golden pages now. And what we're looking for, it's going to be different places, but it's basically on a, on a wall like this or like this. So like northwest wall, northeast wall, something like that. And it's this loose candle. Candle. We open it up. We go in, into the secret zone and we're going to get the four pages from it. So let's go get these pages in here. And it's just a normal area. A little side area. We'll drop this off. Knock this guy out. Look at all these guys. Pretty cool. I think we can tank that explosion. Yep, not a problem at all. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. Um, we should have dropped that off, and we'll take all this stuff up, I guess. Hey, yeah, 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 full. <laughs> oh, and an uh, essence here too. Cool. So we'll drop this. Drop all those. Break up this essence thing. I'm glad they added these. It makes uh, leveling a little bit easier. You can, you know, you get more items that way by using these. Oh, another guy. Where did he come from? All right, so I'll be right back. I'm going to get all these taken care of, and I'll be right back. We're going to do the three-for-one recipe here, and I'm going to use uh, one of my regrets from my other guy. Just, it was a mistake made. Um, if I was doing a normal playthrough, I wouldn't be able to crack this, but I've done a lot of work. I've, I've already got... Two guys up to level 90 this league and this will be the third so i'm gonna uh, allow myself one mistake mulligan point there to respec out of this because i thought it was a um uh re uh a sword that i had but i just got confused so now we have the two points to spend we just leveled up now we have two points to spend and we're gonna probably here's the thing you don't want to necessarily commit to swords until we uh, at least get to terminus est um and then we'll figure it out because we might not use a sword in the end. Even after Terminus S, after we uh, upgrade from that, we might get something better in a non-sword. But by then we're going to have multiple refund points. and It'll be a lot easier. So we could just do something generic like this, some kind of a large AOE. And I think that's what we'll do. Well, let's go down here. I know we're going to keep this. This is a generic, um, uh, just, you know, two-handed line two-handed line this is a two-hander i think this, this is just physical this is just crit and this is two-handed stuff so we're going to stick right around in here for a lot of damage now cool okay here's the first of the four pages and let's see if we can find oh there's another page i'm just kind of oh there's a rare we might as well knock him out and we're going to get stronger and stronger it's going to be nice and eh, we can pick that up it's a decorative axe but that's fine and let's go find this stuff. We'll do the three for one okay. recipe. Sell items. One, two, three. Not that one. We can't use this yet, but pretty soon. So we'll just keep it right over there. At level 36, we're 33. Actually, that's too long away. We'll actually put that away right here. And this is a quality item, so we'll put it there. We'll ID all these. These boots, I mean, if it had, for some reason, if it had like a 30, um, a 30 movement speed, it might be tempting. We'll find, we're we'll fine with that. And away we go. Don't do anything on and here's the first golden page. And we're going to have to run around for the next one. This is really good. If it was, um, these rat, this rat one. If it was a higher level, it would be excellent. But, uh, at this level, I don't think it's going to be that good. See, it's just not. At a higher level, this thing would be awesome. So we're going to use it as we go. Because you could turn a really difficult mod into rats, which don't hurt you at all. And then you could just get uh, a different monster, and we, it would just be rats. So it would be a lot easier. Later, that's a really valuable one. Right now, it's not so valuable. And here's the last one. And what we're going to do is... We don't need to do anything else in this area back here. So we're just going to exit out like this and enter back in 
and we're just going to go to the library right there and then we can just turn it right into him pretty cool now we can purchase he gives us one for free and which one are we going to take probably fortify um so we'll end up with molten strike added fire damage and probably fortify and at least we should be getting that going um we can also take none of those pulverize is nice too but we we're gonna get this one there we go and we're gonna start leveling it up we won't connect it to this until we need to but for right now fortify is a pretty power, powerful thing it gives us fortify uh buff and it does more damage it's like a offense slash defense thing and it's really powerful and we're going to use it and it's going to be really nice but we'll just put it right there for now and then we're going to find out the cost of a couple of different gems i kind of want to just switch over we're getting plenty of power we, we have plenty of damage i'm going to switch over from pride right now and just and just ignore pride and we're going to go towards purity of elements so purity of elements purity Let's find out how much it costs. Purity of Elements. One um, alteration. We don't have it on us. This is where we have to go back to town and get it, but that's okay. We need Purity of Elements, and let's find out which other ones. So we're going to have to go back to our hideout. I'm going to put this gem away for a second. Put it over there. And we're going to need... I'm just going to grab all of these, all of those, all of these, and all these. Because I don't know which one it really, how much it really costs. So we're just going to go back over here. We're going to go back into the library and we're going to spend the points now. Um, what we need is we're going to purchase items. We need um, purity of elements. That's number one. That's one of them. Purity of. Come on. Right there. We need that. That's a blue gem. Then we need automation. That costs an alteration as well. Then we need... We're going to get phase run a little bit later. I think... Not sure exactly one, but we're going to get withering step. That's going to add to our speed. There it is. So we're going to link that one. And then we need steel skin. Nice. So we need to work on these and this one. So we're going to get it all set up now. And we'll do this back over here. All right, I'll be right back. The Fortify, we can actually start leveling up right here, and it'll be, be linked to our Ancestral protect, Protector, which will now fortify itself. And if we want, we can Leap Slam on something, and it should link into that. Leap Slam should work with that. Let's see if it does. Yeah, it does. There it goes, and Leap Slam has two icons on it. One for that, the green, and the red. Nice just hard to see it light up behind there and then we need to set up purity of elements oh boy this is a lot of them and then this one and this one and this one so a red and they need to be linked oh boy this is a lot now we're asking for a lot lot oh boy um i think we're better off at this point probably buying the thing than trying to make it ourselves. we also need a pair of gloves so maybe a four socket glove not really caring what it looks like but more caring along the lines of just like this setup would be fine for now blue blue red green so let's do that and then that'll just take care of it we can just set it on here and we won't have to care about that in fact then we wouldn't have to worry about this we could just replace that and throw it right there and be done with it i like that idea so we're going to look for some blue blue red green gems and this automation is going to automate these gems automatically but oh we're going to need life tap Oh boy. We might be able to get away without it, but if we need life tap on there, then we need red, red, green, blue. Hmm. And then a blue gem up here for purity of elements. We could do that. One blue. So let's give it a shot. So I'm going to go grab life tap as well. Good. Purchase. I hope we can get it. Life tap. Let's see. Life tap. Life tap support, and we're only going to do level one life tap. All right, right back here, and we shouldn't have to buy anything else for a while, except for phase run. And we'll put this back on our, our tab like that, and it just goes in there. 
Okay, so we need red, red, green, blue. Oh boy. So we're at the trade site. We've cleared it out. We're in the search and we're going to go to gloves. And we're going to go to uh, the uh, max item, uh, max level. I think we are like 33, we'll say. And we need a four, a four link. So four links, four, and we need two red, a green, and a blue. Let's see if this even exists. Yes, it does. And it's not that bad. We're looking at the prices down here. So we could be a little more picky. What are these gloves? X's, socketed curses. We might be able to get something. I'm just going to glance over these. And it looks like not necessarily a... Uh, we could try a unique. Let's uh, search just for some unique gloves. Any unique. Just like that. And let's see what we get. Uh, iron scale. We could do some attack speed. I don't mind that. Armor and evasion. Recover uh, on ramp kills grants you an additional vowel soul if you've rampaged recently. And then we'd also have rampage. And rampage recover 20% of life on rampage. These are interesting. I've never used them before. Ooh, serpent scale. Those are nice too. Those are really nice. And we get some more leech. But these seem like fun. We're going to have some fun. We're just going to throw these on there and see what happens. Copy. And we'll be right back. Uh, we have to have a chaos ready. Let's see if we, he actually whispers us back. He might, might not. I don't know. One chaos. Don't want to tra accidentally trade that. And that's the thing. As you get deeper into the league, sometimes, you know, people are really busy in really expensive maps. And they don't want to leave a map just for a one chaos trade. So we'll see. We actually bought some for two chaos. And what ones were they? Flesh. I think it's the same one. Rampage ones for two chaos. Let's see if we get them. I think they're corrupted as well, so we can't change the colors, but they're okay-ish right now. And we'll say accept. And, oh, they're not corrupted. Cool. Thank you. And let's hit back to down. And let's put them on. So, this is going to allow us to do um, life tap. So it's going to use life instead of mana so that we don't have to worry about mana. And we're just going to put this here. Uh, automation, that's going to automate it. It's going to automate our withering step. And then we're also going to add phase run to this automation setup as well. So let's put these there. And we're going to turn this on. And then we need a blue socket. Um, oh boy. We maybe shoot for blue here. I don't think that's going to work. Let's let's shoot for blue on this one. And then we'll switch over to this one when we can. So we just need one blue socket here. There we go. Put that there. Put that there. Put this. Now we have purity of elements. And we can take this off of here. This off of here. And we are set. Now, what's happening is steel skin fires off and it fires off and creates a shield around us and it removes any bleeds that hit us, but not corrupted blood, just regular bleeds and makes us immune to bleeds, which is nice. And um, that'll level up. It'll get to the point where it's almost 2000 um, health shield every, you know, every time it cycles around and fires up. Then this one just helps us move faster, and it does a couple other things. Grants elusive, inflicts some withering, buffs fa uh, buff grants phasing. So as it fires off, you'll see a speed up a little bit, and then as this thing levels up, it'll get even faster and faster. This one we're just gonna um, this automation we're just gonna let that level up. But this one, the life tap, I think we're just gonna keep it at level one for now, and we'll see if we level it up or not. Um, this we can put over here. So now we've done quite a bit of work, actually. Um, in a sense that, um, it, 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 we got a lot done there. <laughs> we did a lot. So you have to go over this carefully, set it up like this, and you'll be in good shape. Purity of elements. Let's turn that on. And what this does, um, how much life do we have left? Um... We have a lot of mana. We might even be able to put, um, what is that? Herald of Ash. Let's see if we can put Herald of Ash into this mix as well. One, two, three, four. 
And how much do we have left? 19. Ah, uh, we're running out of mana, though. See how close it's coming there? I don't know. It's a little close. I don't, that's too close for comfort, so let's not do that one. But it's close. It's close to being able to use that as well. But I don't mind this. This is fine. But purity of elements. What that enables us to do is, if I hover over this and push Alt, um, it gives us immunity to Ignited, being ignited, which is bad. Scorch, which is bad. Chilled, which sucks. It slows us down. Frozen, which is horrible. Brittle, shocked, which if we get shocked and then you're getting hit, you're going to get in trouble really quickly. And sapped. It makes us immune to seven different things. We're going to be immune to stuns as well. Um, so it just really helps out. And not only that, as this thing levels up, we get it up to uh, four, plus 40 all resists. So now if we look at our defenses, we are over capped already. Which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. We don't have to worry about the resistances. Um, once we hit Katava in Act 5 and we win that, we're going to get a minus 30 penalty all, to all these. Then we'll have to worry about it again. And then in Act 10, we can do it again. And that's a total of minus 60. But we'll be able to handle it. No, no worries. So let's continue on. And we're going to jump back in here. And we're going to go into, not the library this time, but we're going to do, um, if you're new, you're going to have to do the... Um, trial of the sentency, the sixth one, and make sure you have all six done. And then we're going to get the plum, and then we're going to go on from there. Come on. Yeesh. Just wasn't hitting. There we go. Well, let's go get the plum. And to make sure we don't level up life tap anymore, I'm going to right click, and then we're going to left click on that one. So what it does is it move when you do a right click on it, it moves it down here, and then it won't level it up. It stops it at level one life tap cool and you see how that's using um life instead of mana pretty cool and we're building up rampage kills which um adds to our movement speed a little bit as as you get more and more of them um it's just like a bonus kill streak thing and then it also when we gain rampage it looks like it um it heals us for 20 percent of our life or something we're not going to keep this forever it's just kind of a a novelty thing but it's interesting some people really like it and this is where you would go up for um, the next, uh, the next, this is the sixth one. You just go in here, walk to the back, tap the thing, and it should look like this. Oh, and there's a, a craft here as well. We already got it. And, oh, wow. There we go. And it's, it's going to look like this. You're going to have to do this one, Act 2, Act 2, then Act 3 in the crematorium. You should have done that one. And if not, you're going to go back there and just go back into the Act 3, the Catacombs, and find it. This is the Imperial Garden, so let's say you missed this one. You just look up here, and you'd go over these until you find the Crematorium, I think, is right here. The Catacombs is off to the side. You just go in there and get these, and then you'd uh, go here for the last one. And then you were able to do the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the Labyrinth. We'll do that in a little bit. Let's go get that Plum and keep on going. I'll try to remember to put a Path of Building link into this current build in the uh, item description as well. And you'll be able to click it. It'll bring you to poe.ninja and you'll be able to look at the um, the build in its current form on there. And look at, you know, you can mess around, see what I'm, see, you know, hover over the gear, all that kind of stuff. The gems, anything. And even the skill points. And finally, we found the plum. Cool. And we're going to bring that back to the docks. And we can just log out this way. I think it's safe to do. And I'll sell, and then we're going to go to the docks. Let's do that real quick. And I'm getting low on the these, so I'm just going to sell a transmute for four of those. I don't mind. I just need more of these. And we'll go back to the docks. We'll turn in the Chittis Plum. I think this is a pre purely optional one. Let's see. We get something out of it. Let's see. Oh, it's a ring. We're not going to be able to use it. We'll just grab that. ID it. And all we got out of that is some shards. But it's not a bad ring. Uh, if it had more life on it during the down below, it would be even better. Might be a sellable one. There we go. Let's keep on going. Next, we had to go to the uh, Lutan Lun Lunaris Temple up here. So we just came up here to the Ebony Barracks. And right in. I'm going to actually use all of these up. I just don't even mind. 
We're just going to use them up because they, we, we can't save them for later. So let's keep going. And we've turned them into frogs and rats. <laughs> a lot of them. So they won't hurt us and we'll still get whatever the rewards are. See a bunch of rats and frogs? Pretty cool. And it's just it's just something that makes it easier. So let's say it's a really difficult mob, but you're going to get a good treasure from it. It's nice to be able to do that. And they're very valuable at the end, uh, in the maps and endgame. People pay a lot for these. Now we have purity of elements going. So this guy dropping all these lightnings on us doesn't even matter. Oh, he's a tough guy. He's like a little mini boss. And there we go. Cool. And we'll level up purity of elements. Each time we level that up, it's getting closer and closer, you know, to 40 total from 20. It goes up to 40 total resist for each one. Automation gem. Yeah, we're leveling all these. Cool. This is a big zone, so it's pretty far to the end, too. But you'll get there. Just relax, have fun, cruise along. Oh, we'll get some points to spend here. A little another mini... Oh, no, it's a gem link. This is from the um, offlane that we used. So it's going to start dropping um, a bunch. Ooh, that's actually nice for us. This right here, um, it's an 18. That's almost, you know, if it was 20, we'd only need two of those for a gem cutter's prison. Although I'm even a 20 might sell for a gem cutter's prison. I'm not sure. Let's spend these two points and we're going to spend it here and here. So that's going to help our damage um, and our AOE ability. I think a AOE that, that, and then on kill, it goes up by 15% more. And that's um, the last four seconds if you killed something. Let's see, 1490, 1621, not bad, and another and we're going to go back to town and sell and be right back. The likelihood of us finding any of these are really low now. So I'm just going to um, I'm just going to go like this. We'll put all these in our currency tab and we'll just take all these away. Now, these quality ones are still good. We'll go like that and we'll even probably end up selling this as well. And we'll just put those away into our flask tab. We won't, we won't deal with those anymore. Nice. And now we'll go down here. And, ooh, it's got fusings. We want more fusings. We'll put that at the top. And let's go down here and have some fun. This belt we just found is kind of nice. Um, we're actually going to use it. And we're going to... Um, our defenses, we're going to put cold on it as well if we can. Let's go find out. Should have a suffix free. Let's see. Should. Nice. We'll put cold on there. We can only do the first rank because I have these unlocked, but we're not going to do it. Nice. Now, as we put this on, our life is going from 779 up to 796. And then our defenses goes from 79, and then we're going to be way over capped, 95 in preparation for, um, in preparation for, you know, we're going to get a penalty of that pretty soon. And we might find something else that'll lower some something down. So it's just nice to have that. And we'll sell this off and we'll keep going. We're, I mean, 47 of those at 50, we can sell those or at 48. We're going to probably get 12 chaos out of that. So if you're wondering how people get chaos easily on the way up, that's one way to do it is sell those things. Pretty cool. Ace at a level right before this big fight. So we're going to spend that point right there. And that should go up. Let's see what it does to our damage. Uh, increased damage against enemies that are on low life. So you're, what you're going to see, if we have run into a tough creature, we're going to do more damage. Once we get it below half health, it'll start to speed up. And then we also get um, more AoE as we kill things. Nice. All right, let's dive into this fight. And we're very tanky, and our damage is really good. There's going to be a crafting recipe over here to take as well. Let's drop a, to a totem and let's take this guy out. This is piety, the piety fight. And she jumps around. She's over here. She's over there. Oh, likes my totem. Keep on knocking her down. This is really easy. We're in really good shape here. Nice. We'll take that. But we'll take all that stuff. And we should just be able to port right out now like this. Not port, but exit out. Come right back in. We're going to sell, and then we're going to keep on going from there. Let's see if we get any rewards. Nope, not to that guy. What about Clarissa? 
No, come on, Gregor. Oh, nice. We got a book of skill. Skill point. Let's so let's see what we're gonna spend it on. We're gonna look down here and free choice. We could go here. That's a really good one. Let's just do it. We're gonna get these. We're gonna get these. These. Nice. I think it's time for the most important thing, which is the labyrinth. We're gonna actually ascend now. You should have all six of these things done. We're gonna come in here. We could actually port in there too, because you could go in this way and just get Aspirin's Plaza and port in here like this. But we're gonna go do our first lab. It's gonna be an easy one too. We'll see. <laughs> Famous last words. Um, at 33, you should be able to get in here. We are, and then you just click this, activate it. We're 36, so we should, we're in good shape for this. So let's do it. And I'll walk you through how to do this if this is new to you. Um, we're gonna turn our map on and we're gonna generally stay to the right shift it like right in like the northeast part of the maps because we're working our way from left to right in the overall map. You don't really wanna fight things. Now here's the thing, you could, you know, take your time and clear all this, but if you die in here, you gotta start over back outside where we just were. And that's no fun. So, and if you're in hardcore well, then you got to start over at the beach. <laughs> so we'll take this and this, and we'll take all those up, level up these, and it's. I think it's going to be out here. It's not going to be to the right that way. I suspect. If you do these a lot, you'll get a, a better feel for it. They're random, but not that like they're pseudo random because you end up with a lot of the time, it's going to be right over here. Let's take all these guys out. It's not terrible EXP, but it's something. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. And then right over here, sure enough, here's the first time you've seen the map, and you're working your way across, and there's three phases to the fight. Um, Azaro, we're going to fight him basically three times, a third of his health each time, and this is the first fight in the Aspirant's Plaza. So that's what we're looking for. And here we go. There's other things you can do on the way there. You can do stuff like, um, oh, you can find uh, different buffs and debuffs and stuff like that. Also, when you get here, you're going to look for this crafting recipe and take that. And then you, the neat thing is you can just drop off stuff along the way, too. You don't have, you get access to your stash tab. So we're just going to throw, if we needed the space, we could just throw it right there. We really don't, but whatever. We'll just go like that and throw it in there. Here we go. Let's do the first fight. Each day, the labyrinth changes, too. So right now, all day long, it would be like this, and it would be repeatable. And then the next day, it changes. So let's go ahead and drop down a totem. We won't even need to use the banner like we could. We're, we're going to be comp completely fine. We'll drop the totem down, move around a little bit. We just don't gonna want to get one shot by this guy, because he hits hard. And not, no problems. Wow, we took we tanked that hit really well. And, ooh, we got a four, a four link on the ground there. And that's the bad thing about, um, the, sometimes you can be doing your Molten Strikes, and they kind of land behind him, and he's not really hitting him, so you kind of back up. Once we get to Cyclone, it won't be an issue. That's a neat item. That's our first four link weapon that we've seen. We don't need it, though. And we'll keep going. Oh, I'm going to actually walk you through the full thing here. I didn't mind. Let's not turn it off. And we're going to work our way through here. Now, each time we go up, the next lab is going to be even more difficult. There'll be more puzzles and traps and all kinds of things. Let's see if we can jump across here. And see, there's more traps. You're going to want two potions, not just one. Oh, we got a couple little things. And a lever. And we're just going to work our way out of this. We'll take that and that. And let's go find the way forward. Generally, it's up and to the right, but sometimes not. It, it, it's just a general general rule of thumb. We'll see. And you'll see some more stuff right when we get to the next uh, little map device right up here. Nice. All right. So this one goes here. I don't want to take that. I want to find the one that goes straight there. So we're going to keep looking. And sometimes when you trade somebody, they'll say, hey, in lab, and this is what they mean. They can't leave here. If you leave, you got to start all over. So don't even exit or anything. So that's why they're not going to exit to do it. I'm, I think it's going to be more over here, maybe. Maybe. Nope. Then I'm going to try on this side. 
And, oh boy. Got fire, I don't like that. We'll get through it. Heal up. Use those to heal ourselves. Get stabbed. Uh, jump across. There it is. So open the door, come through here. And the puzzles get increasingly challenging as you go through it. But now, Aspirin's uh, uh, <laughs> Plaza, and this is the second phase. And the phases get more difficult as well. Crafting recipe, possibility. Here we go. Oh boy. Moment of truth. And that's why you need to bring a um, green gem like we had when, when I, I bought an extra green gem along. So that we can transfigure it. Because you might get a lucky one, and we could sell it for quite a bit. You never know. And just like that, easy stuff. Watch out, those guys can actually shoot you in the back on the way out, too. These helper guys, I don't know. I, I, it's happened to me a, a long time ago. Oh, a hybrid. That's a life and mana flask. Interesting. Next up, we keep on trucking. And we're going to find the way through. Should be like two rooms away again on average. Um, this one, I don't want to go that way. I don't want to deal with that, so hopefully we can bypass it. We'll take that scroll of wisdom. And because we have Fortify linked to Leap Slam, when I jumped on there, you saw that Fortify come up there. See that right there? That's a big thing. It's 20% less damage just across the board. Just, It's a big... Uh, it's nice. <laughs> I'm hoping we don't have to do any puzzles. It looks like we might have to this t t today. We'll see. If that's the case, I'll go through this one. I don't want to go through this one. So we'll go this way. I was hoping we could get around it. So we'll open up the leather. Leather. <laughs> Sprint over. Sometimes they're not that bad. Let's see if we can jump across and kind of cut ahead through it. Maybe not. Oh, get out of the fire. Fire bad. Um, Maybe this way? I'm not liking any of this. Here's a timed crank, so if we do that one, I bet you that goes to that door, so I couldn't cut ahead. Here, I was thinking I was being smart, and now the door opens. You have to hit both those in a certain amount of time and keep on going. Watch out for those things that slam down on your head. Those are bad. We'll take these and these and these. And nice. And we're working our way northeast again. Yikes. <laughs> Sprint. Well, we'll open this and be dangerous. Firestorm, good. Um, we can't be frozen by those anymore, so, you know, it's a little less dangerous than they used to be. But they can still do that uh, chain explode thing that can be really deadly. Alright, so where does this go? We have one here, but then it looks like it has a path to the end in this way. So I don't mind going this way. We'll up the fortify thing, and away we go. Oh boy. Up and to the right. Let's see if we can find it. It'd be nice if it was right here. It's not going to be, but it'd be nice. Um, if you don't have a lot of armor or health and everything, those porcupines can just destroy you. A lot of caster characters, they walk into a crowd of those things and boop, dead. They'll, they'll walk into a big set of them and all of a sudden, well, bad things happen when they all explode at once. We'll just take these guys down just to keep moving. And, and the thing is, you can run this as much as you want. If you like running this, you can run it over and over again. There's different treasures at the end. Um, I'm a little weirded out by going this way. I don't think this is it. There's a little switch here. We'll break through. I don't think this is the way. We'll check. Usually it's not. Yuck. Get out of that. Get out of that. These are beefy guys. Ooh, we'll take the alchemy. Nice. I'll take the alchemy. Do I have a little bit of room for some stuff? Yeah, leave that there. Usually this is just a square room. Yep. Uh, so up into the... No, it's not even up into the right. Maybe up this way? This is a dead end wall. Oh no, there's a little bit of a breakthrough. Nice. Uh, we'll open this one. Identified items that drop. Nice. We'll take the fusing and some whetstones. That's, uh... I actually gotta start saving some whetstones so we won't convert those. Whetstones and some armor. Um, we'll, we'll take both. 
Does this go the right way? No, it goes backwards. I don't necessarily want to go this way. Sometimes you have to. There might be a door that requires a certain key to get through. But in general, I don't think we're going to have a locked door to get to the end here. This is a moderately lame one. Um, there's There's been times where the first one is just super, super easy. Um, like really quick, like two, three minutes, two minutes, you're just flying through it. But this one, oh gosh, it's got the switches thing. I don't like that. I hope we don't have to do it to solve it. I don't think we need to. So this would be a puzzle. You get them all. If you make them all look like that, then it technically opens. But it's you got to just mess with those a lot. So I don't want to do it. So we're going to keep going. There's a treasure back there, but I don't want it. And we're going to keep going. There might be an easy way to solve it. I just haven't messed with it a lot. Sometimes you, you are forced to do it. But here we go. And here's the Aspirin's Plaza. There it is. Easy stuff. And let's go in there. And we're going to drop this stuff off in our um, stash before we go in there. We'll move this on this side. And we'll just dump all this stuff right here. And we'll deal with that in a second. But we need the space. Here we go. Oh boy. We're ascending. Here we go. Um, we don't want to be... See these spinny things? that They'll probably launch. Maybe, maybe not. And the next ones, they get ripped. So we'll drop that. We'll keep moving out of the way. And then we'll just take them out. We'll jump on them and get our, um, our own uh, little uh, um, fortify going. Beautiful. Look at all that loot. We'll take these guys out because they want to be mean to us. We'll take the wand. We're going to take the treasure keys. Those, those. Um, anything smaller-ish? Uh, nothing, nothing. That's fine. And fine. Okay. Jump over here. We're going to go right to our uh, stash. We're going to dump a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, we're going to even put that in there. Oh, boy. Cool. Now, um, at this point, we can do um, the treasure chest. We have two of those. Nice. We got that and that. Sometimes you'll get more in that. Sometimes you'll get another key out of there. Sometimes two keys and you can keep on going. Sometimes you'll get more keys along the way. There's all kinds of neat things you can do in here. And we need that other gem, that cyclone gem that we are leveling up. Let's just take that and level it here we go um so we have two things to do to it we could just add quality to, to a gem i don't really want to do that but i want to do this one and hopefully we'll get something cool out of it we're going to randomly transfigure this cyclone gem into a random other one because we're going to buy cyclone of tumult um it could land on cyclone of tumult as well though here we go but it's going to be green and we get three choices Lansing Steel, and you could look these up, uh, but there's no way to like price check them with the Awakened PoE tr uh, uh, trade. Uh, elemental Hit of the Spectrum, Seismic Trap of Swells. I don't think any of these goods. We'll try the Lansing Steel one, and we'll confirm it, and then we'll check the price right now. I don't think it's going to be that good, right? Oh my gosh, 45 Chaos. <sighs> All right, that was a very lucky one. <laughs> I should have checked it. So we can sell that for 44 chaos. Now here's the thing. I am not going to use that. I'm not going to. We got really lucky there. I'm not going to count that towards our um, uh, our usable spendable stuff. Because that would be unfair. So, I'd, But that's worth 40. We could sell that right now for 44 chaos. No problem. Pretty nice. Um, but that's pretty cool. We got, like, we got lucky there. Next up we're going to... Um, we're going to switch back the weapons. We're going to have to buy another Cyclone gem just to put in there and start leveling and put it on there because we're going to be in here again and we might get lucky again. But this is the important part. So we're going to level or we're going to ascend. We have three choices. We could do this one, this one, or this one. And one second, I got to say lab. I just crafted that thing. Uh, a little while ago, this were in lab. One sec. There we go. I thought I had D&D &D on. Um, 
we're going with Slayer. And we'll say next. And we're going to ascend. You could undo this. And we've ascended. And then we'll spend the points in a moment. We'll go take care of this guy. So we've done everything in here. We've done this. We've got that. And the other thing, we're ready to go out. And let's go out. And we'll go take care of this guy. I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna ID the uh, the uniques that we got that one and this lapis. Uh, this is a leveling item. Uh, we don't need to do that. Let's find out how much of this is worth. Uh, we'll just um, we'll just vendor it. And we don't need that. I just sold something else for 19 chaos that I won't put towards our our equipment. And we'll get rid of this. And nice. Oh, and we got our first gem. Uh, damage over time, a jewel, not a gem. And those go in our tree like this. You can put them in here. You can unlock these and you can slap the jewels in there and do that kind of stuff. So that's another way to increase your character and buff them up. Uh, let's sell this though. And we'll sell, 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 accept. And we'll be right back. Okay, at this point, we have some de decisions to make. Um, what I've narrowed it down to is um, at, right now we have two points to spend. And we could, we're going to get um, Cyclone at 51, the tumult, uh, Cyclone of Tumult. And it would be really nice to have a lot of AoE. Look how much AoE we can get up to 50% more as we're killing a bunch of enemies. Um, the It adds 0.4 meters to our strike range, which counts at for Cyclone, oddly enough, and then takes care of our accuracy even more, um, and we deal up to 15% more damage based on proximities. If they're close to us, you know, like right around here, which we are with Cyclone most of the time, we could actually hit stuff out here as well, but um, it does more damage. It's a 15% more multiplier. Um, this one we're going to take last. Um, uh, as our fourth ascendancy. So we, ha we have this the choice here, a choice into here, attack speed, and more a little more damage. Here we get a AoE and a little more damage. And then this one, we get more damage and then even more damage to uniques. So we'd have uh, uniques like bosses. So we'd have 30% versus 15% more, but then we get the AoE, we get the, um, the accuracy. It's tempting, but then... If we go this route and take these two, and then these two at 55, we have to wait till, um, I think, 65 or 75 to do the third one. I think 65, and then, or 68 to do the third one. And this is really nice. This uh, kills any enemy that's 20% or, low, or lower on life. Just automatically, we just touch it with a little bit, and it's instantly dead. So that's like a massive, you know, you get 80% of the creature gone and it just, boom, dead. Um, and we get attack speed for 20 seconds when we kill a rare or a unique enemy. And we get movement speed speed of 10% um, increase for 20 seconds for that. I'm leaning towards this way. And then we'll get that, the third one, and this will be the fourth one. So let's just do it. It's really close. It really is. But this will be fun to have that 20% culling strike. It's really powerful. That is so amazing. And that'll work with our four, that'll work with our totems, everything. So I think it's going to be pretty powerful. So we'll take it. And now we're going to have more damage. We can't take reflected physical damage. So there's very little in maps that we have to worry about. We can pretty much run any map and not have to worry about it because we're no, we don't care about um elemental reflections we don't care about uh no regen maps we're gonna be in great shape so it's cool so we're gonna take that and then we'll take this next and that'll help with our speed and we'll go from there so we're gonna apply the points and just go for it there's an argument to be made going this way you could go into these two there's all all kinds of difference and even over here we could go but there's lots of good choices but i like this oh and two people wanted our gem right in a row too that was weird um and we're gonna sell that gem that we just had for 45 chaos but we're not gonna take the, the, the that into account and 45 he's getting the five cool except thank you and oh 
whisper thank you and this guy it sold it sold nice but we're not going to count that towards um our uh what do you call it um our total we're going to put that in the other um stash worth of stuff uh here we're not going to count it for us because that's too that's 45 chaos is too much of a that was pretty lucky so we're not going to count it we'll just keep going as is i think that's more fair to everybody we'll turn this back on our automation and we'll keep going so the next thing we could do we could do that domination fight this this episode let's go do it we're ready for it and i think it's in here in the imperial gardens and let's go knock it out um what did we get now we're a little stronger in how in what way uh if we've killed recently we get more damage and we get a bot oh this is actually good so we're gonna have 20 percent more damage on these bosses that we're about to fight i like it nice let's go find the way up oh and the boss it, it's over here to the wow it's perfectly over here to the right and then we're going to use that item to open it up we've done all the quests in here and we're just going to the last last boss one anything good in here nah, it doesn't matter let's keep cruising along nice let's go find the way up the tower. Kill the Mad King. and we have another point to spend we'll zoom back out and I think we're going to spend it right down here. This one's going to be a nice one. These proximity shields, you actually have to be inside it with them to hit them. So you can't hit them from outside it. Here we go. Let's do the fight. This is the boss fight. And this will complete Act 3 as well. So we've been really detailed. Here we go. We'll take the map off. Really cool things. These things come down. We'll drop this off. This is a multi-stage fight, but we're really, really powerful, which is nice. This is it's going to make everything pretty easy. Ooh, an orb of binding. That's a good item for us. We'll knock this guy down. Ooh, it's kind of messing with us here. Come on. There we go. Drop those guys off. We'll take that. The uh, orb of binding can make a four-linked item with um four sockets four linked and oh here we go and rare let's jump out of that come on and we'll play this guy we can pretty much t look at this we're just face tanking him down nice that's so easy now we're going to the third stage of the fight and we got to fight it from in here i believe here we go Everything's buffed. I got our buffs on. We'll drop this off. We're over capped on all our, res our resists. We'll drop this down. We could even jump on them to get a, um, a little bit of a... What do you call it? Um, fortify. We're just face tanking them. Completely easy. We'll take all that. And let's ID just this amulet. I think I've seen that be the tier of purity. Sounds like a good item. We'll compare to this purity of element skills. Interesting. It would automatically cast on there and then plus 10. We've already got that going, so no big deal. And we'll just keep what we have. We'll say hi to her. And you exit right over here. And we're going to the aqueduct. And we don't have to use any of these. This is level 78. We're in good shape. Let's run up to the next town and we'll be set and ready the next episode there's a neat fight here at the end of this area too and we'll just run to the end of this no big deal and pretty cool stuff and there's so much more to see and so much more to unlock it really is amazing the end game in this uh path of exile if you've never played it before is extremely customizable you pre you pretty much play it the way you want and not only that easily 10 different ways to play the end game and that's the things there's there's players that only play certain certain features of the end game and other players that just do bossing some people just do mapping some people do heist some people like doing delve i like doing delve um some people just do legion some people love the tower defense game where it's blight and ooh, we got a nice item here pack monsters can drop omens very cool there's 
a solid 10 different ways you can play. And usually that people play a little mix of every uh, of two or three or four things. Some people play everything. They say whatever comes and drops and whatever kind of content that just appears, they just play it. So there's so many ways. Then there's different modes of the game you can play. Um, solo, self found. Oh, we need that. Is that a three link? Red, green? Nope. Blue, blue, red. Um, it's just truly amazing. They've done an amazing job on the end game. They make tweaks to it, the scarab system that just got introduced. In Let's see how fast we can kill this guy. Come on. What? He didn't even get to fly away. We're massively powerful. That is amazing. Usually he flies away one time and then he drops down, but that we just chunked him down with authority. He was a, it probably counted as a unique kind of a boss for the area. So that was a 30% more damage multiplier on top of everything else. If we had uh, pride running too, we would have got 15, 20% more on top of that. Maybe only three hits instead of four to kill him. Pretty amazing. Oh, I think this is the way out over here. I think, let's see. Can't wait to automate our flasks so we don't have to press them anymore. It will be beautiful. Uh, and we can do this and that. Nice. And we're already automating a few things, but we're going to be automating a lot more. The name of the game is Move Fast, uh, Tons of Tanky Life, Don't Care About Mana, and Automation. And then easy, just relaxing gameplay. That's what we're shooting for. Um, next episode, we're going to take care of all this. I'll clean up all this. We'll do everything in between the episode, but then I'll start the uh, in the next episode. We're going to be doing the quest in here. We might unlock a little bit of Del Doubtful, though. And we'll just keep on trucking through this. This is easy stuff. If you're following me along, I'll put a path of building in a uh, link in the bottom so that you can actually look at it and hover over each item. Um, it's a, it brings you to the website that shows you all of this stuff that I have on at this moment in time, I believe. Um, good stuff. I hope you enjoy. Have a good one. And I have fun with this. So if you, if you like the kind of this stuff, this is what I do. And I have a good time with it. And I like helping people. Any questions, go ahead and ask. And I do my best to answer. Have a good one. Enjoy.